Hi, it's Katrina from Maine Coon Central. If you haven't already checked out my website, it is maincooncentral.com. On the website, I've got absolutely everything there is to know about the Maine Coon cat breed, and I hope I can help teach you all about this amazing cat breed and why you should buy one and just how to really care for them, to be fair. So check it out, maincooncentral.com. Now today, I'm gonna tell you a little bit more about the male versus female Maine Coon. Now, we all know the breed is amazing, so you will be absolutely lucky to have either of the genders, but is one gender better or more suited to your family? Now, I'm gonna cover some main factors for you to consider, which I hope really, really help you to choose between which gender is best for you. Before I get started, Click subscribe and hit the ring a bell button at the top to make sure that you get notified of all my videos coming up. Now on to the subject you want to hear about, Maine Coon Cats, male v female. Now everyone's got their own preference, I know. Um, we personally own a male Maine Coon and as I talk through the different um, differences between the genders, um, you'll understand for us personally why the male was more suited. But that's not to say that there's anything wrong with the female. In fact, I'd love to have a female Maine Coon as well. But I think for our first Maine Coon, we wanted to have the male. Okay, so number one, size. You probably already know the answer to this one. It's pretty obvious when you look at a male versus a female Maine Coon to see that the male is bigger. Now, you obviously do get big female Maine Coon cats too, so you never know. You're probably telling me, shouting on the screen saying, but my Maine Coon female is big too. And that is also possible. In general, the male will always be bigger than the female Maine Coon. So if you're looking for a super big cat, the male is for you. If you're looking for a big cat, but maybe not huge, the female is gonna be best suited to you. Now, males will weigh between 50 and 25 pounds. So our male Maine Coon cat sort of sat right in the middle. He's about 20 pounds, so he's pretty big. And we absolutely love him. The females are slightly different. They weigh between 50 What can we look at next? Number two, how sociable are the Maine Coon cats? Right, so both of them are brilliant. Both are gonna be more sociable in nature than your average moggy. But is one gender a little bit more sociable than the other? The answer is yes again. Males are gonna be slightly more sociable with their family and they're gonna to wanna to spend lots of time with you compared to the females who were considered a little bit more, well, inverted commas, cat-like. So they're happy to spend more time on their own and they will choose when they want to actually spend time with you. So you've got to have the male who wants to spend all their time with you. The female, yes, they'll want to spend time with you, absolutely. But they're not going to be on top of you. They're not going to be invading your space all the time. Obviously, there is a little bit all about how you've raised them. So if you've wanted to spend a lot of time with them and you've deliberately gone out your way for their whole life, when they're kittens and everything, to spend lots and lots of time with them, then they will probably naturally just want to spend time with you too. So that's worth considering. The next fact to consider is the personality. So which is better, male or female? Once again, both genders are gonna be perfect. 
but if you want a more outgoing personality, or a cat that kind of probably wants a little bit more attention out of you and is maybe a little bit less independent, pick the male. That's They're, they're going to want to um, be full of life and spend all their time with you. By contrast, that's not saying that the female Maine Coon cat is boring. Absolutely not the case. The difference is that the female is calmer and they are more independent and they don't need to be the big personality and the main character in the room. They're just happy being themselves. Now, I live in a hectic house with lots of loud children, so I think I naturally just swayed towards the louder outgoing personality. That's why we have a male Maine Coon cat. Personal preference. So if you like calm, pick the girl. If you like crazy and outgoing, pick the male. Number four, independence. As I have already alluded to just a second ago, if you have a male, they're gonna be slightly less independent than the female. So once again, both are perfect and it really comes down to what sort of lifestyle you live. So I work from home, my husband works from home, and basically therefore a male is more suited to us because we have the time to give to the cat. The cat's never gonna be on its own and that works for us. Okay, let's cover number five really, really, really quickly. Attention, as you already know, males require more attention than the females. So which are you gonna pick? The next one is grooming. Is there a difference between the male, the female, Maine Coon cat? No, just no difference. They all have three layers of fur, two short dense undercoats, and then an outer guard coat that's semi water repellent. Both need grooming and there's no getting away from it. You have to do it. For Maine Coons in general, you should be grooming them two to four times a week. For, for us, particularly during the winter season, which you can see, it's actually snowing. Um, we actually have to groom our cat literally every day to every other day because he just gets more tangly. It's obviously, there's obviously moisture in the air and that affects his fur. On to the next thing to consider, exercise. Maine Coon cats need a lot of exercise. They remain kitten-like for most of their lives, even into like their adulthood. So our Maine Coon cat loves to like have this crazy half hours where he just zooms around the house like he's gone berserk. <laughs> this is important. He needs to have the exercise because we don't want him suffering from a common Maine Coon health condition of obesity, which Maine Coons are sadly prone to. In terms of actual exercise, it's generally considered that the male of the species is going to be a little bit more active during the daytime um, and the female is thought to be more active at night. Now I've read about this from my personal experience I haven't seen this. Our cat seems to actually sleep a lot of the day and then become a little bit more active around dusk and sometimes he likes to be a bit active at night but that's really how it is. Okay does diet make a difference if you're buying a male or female Maine Coon cat? Not really, though males do grow bigger, so you can expect your male Maine Coon cat to probably eat a little bit more than your female Maine Coon cat. Other than that, nothing to worry about on that subject. So when it comes to lifespan, uh, is a male gonna live longer? Is a female gonna live longer? Absolutely no difference once again. Maine Coon cats live for 12 to 15 years. Number 10, Maine Coon price. No difference. As one of the most expensive cat breeds you're gonna buy, you're gonna be looking at $1,000 per purebred Maine Coon kitten. Doesn't matter if it's male or female, they're both expensive. 11, health issues. Maine Coon cats, they're pretty hardy cat breed to be fair. They do suffer from certain health issues though. So if you wanna know more, click in the link below. I've put a link to my article, the top seven Maine Coon cat health issues that you have to be aware of. 
there is a slight downside to purchasing a male of the species because they are more prone to hip dysplasia than the females. So the next one, bonding. All the information I've researched tells me that the male prefers to bond with one owner. The female though likes to be calmer, share their love with a whole family. Okay, number 13, playtime. As I've mentioned in the video, males are the life and soul of the party. They're brilliant. They, they love playtime. Um, it can be on the owner's terms or their terms. They're not fussy. Females are a little bit different in this respect. They want playtime on their terms. Right, so the final thing I want to cover on male versus female Maine Coon cat is the stubbornness. Males are more stubborn than females. So if you have a male Maine Coon kitten, make sure you teach him all the house rules whilst he's still tiny and a little kitten, because as the males get older, they don't learn as well. They're more stubborn and stuck in their ways. The female, however, the species is considered to basically be able to accept new rules even as they grow older. I really hope this short YouTube video has helped you decide if you would like to have a male or female Maine Coon cat. Obviously, there's lots of things to consider, so take a look at each of the aspects again and make sure you know what you're getting. So, would you get a pick? Before I go, click subscribe, hit the ring a bell, make sure you get all my notifications moving forward, and check out my website, maincooncentral.com, the number one Maine Coon Cat website with everything you'll ever need to know about the Maine Coon Cat.